Hey folks, this is Samir and I'm back with another episode of Monthly Best Apps in which I showcase some of the most useful and newly released apps to increase your productivity. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the best Android apps for the month of October 2018. Excited? So let's get started. Kicking off the list with Connect Paper. Connect Paper is an awesome little app that lets you share your wallpaper with your friends and family. In order to share with someone, both participants will need the app installed for the sharing function to work. You can easily invite your contacts from within the app, which makes it easier to connect with the people you would like to swap wallpapers with. Next up we have App Browser, which solves the biggest friction we face with current mobile apps, which is requirement to download an app in order to use it. For instance, if you want to do an online shopping, you will download apps like Flipkart or Amazon, right? Or if you want to pay a bill, then you will download apps such as Paytm or Free Charge. But what if I tell you that you can do all this stuff and more by just downloading one single app? Yep, you heard it right. App Browser is the world's first mobile app store for browsable apps. All apps listed on App Browser are instant apps, which are fast and can be used without the users having to download them on the phone. If you're worried with the space crunch in your Android phone, this is for you. It's the one app solution to all the apps. App Browser offers a wide range of features which helps you to look through, find and use from among the top 200 plus instant apps. With App Browser, not only can you shop to your heart's content at places like Amazon, Flipkart, Snapdeal, etc. without downloading them, but you can also pay bills using Paytm, book flights, hire a taxi from Uber, book a hotel, or purchase movie tickets from Book My Show and more. With this app, you can also create your own dashboard with apps that you use frequently and use them with one tap. Assistant Shortcut is an ingenious button remapper. If you like to remap your power button so that when you perform a long press, you launch an app or function of your choosing, then this app is for you. It is also great for anyone with a disability that has trouble using the touch screen or would like to set up a few key apps to launch when pressing on certain physical buttons. New launches pop up on the Play Store frequently, though most don't even get popular thanks to poor craftsmanship or boring designs. Nigra Launcher is the new kid on the block, and I have to say I enjoy its unique minimal design. All your apps are neatly arranged in a list on the right of your screen that is sorted alphabetically and available at all times. You don't have to swipe to access it, it's always there. This makes launching apps a breeze even if you have a lot installed. The Tor browser for Android is still a work in progress, as it's not featured completely with the desktop version yet, and there are few outstanding bugs that still need it squashed. That doesn't mean you can't use the new release as you preferred way to browse onion sites on your mobile devices. Since the alpha works decently enough for something that is still under heavy development. The release of Feedly Lab serves as an experiment to figure out what direction to take the news aggregator app. Redesigns are often a core but Feedly has opted for a more open collaborative and fun process. So if you would like to help, download this app and use it for a while. Then when you have some input, just head over to Feedly Slack channel and let them know your thoughts. Heimdall Parental Control is obviously a parental control app for parents to better manage what their kids can view on their Android devices. You can set it up with a single password and you can also block app installs, limit call duration, set in stone the YouTube parental filter so it does not even revert and track the device's location all the times. Spying on your children has never been simpler. Google's Famebit is a new tool that's useful for YouTube creators. It connects brand with people's channels so that their content will reach the right audience and inspire action, whatever that means. It's a service that connects marketers with YouTubers. It's clear the Disney fiction of YouTube has yet to be completed, and you better believe focused marketing is going to play a big part in that. No longer we will have to worry about hidden advertisements disguised as regular articles in our text-based media. Android Does is the developer of Apex Launcher and Fancy Widgets. The newest release from the studio isn't what you would expect at first. This is a wallpaper chooser and despite its simplicity, it contains plenty of beautiful pictures that range in size and resolution, which makes it great for the majority of Android users out there. There are over 1000 backgrounds to choose from, and every single one of them is free to use. So guys that's it for this video. Which of the above app you like the most? Do you know of any other app that I should have added to this list? 
Do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and for more future videos like this do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid. This is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.